Yo! Yeah! Yo, what's going on, y'all boys? Man, she's about really great. Or Ray J. Or the flow, she's about the grind. She gives whatever shit of tears, man. You already know what time it is, yo. But anyway, today we're going to drop a video for y'all. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Top 3 Classes to Drop a Deatomizer Strike or Nuclear, whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? Now, people on this game thinking getting deatomizers and nukes is like extremely hard, but I promise you it's not, bro. It's, I swear to God, it's not. You're making it hard on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Getting deatomized on this game is not hard at all. Not at all. So I'm going to give you the top three classes that I use every day to drop a deatomizer to get a nuke. All right? And um, in the background, I got a hardcore nuclear, and I got a core nuclear as a second game player. All right? So enjoy that in the background. Now let's go ahead and get into these class setups. Now, the first class that we got is the MV4 Fallout. The MV4 Fallout is probably the most popular gun to drop a deatomizer with. No joke. No joke, all right? So, start out with the MV4 Fallout. We're going to use Elo Sight, Suppressor, Quick Draw, and Extended Mags. Now, Suppressor, Quick Draw, and Extended Mags, that's a great combination for the MV4 Fallout. Uh, you don't need a grip because the MV4 Fallout, it has it has great accuracy. Great accuracy. It does not even have that much recoil. I promise you it doesn't. So, you're going to want to put a Suppressor on it. Quick draw and extended mags. Now the suppressor, the suppressor is there so you can stay off the mini map. And when you're shooting at somebody, they don't even know where you're shooting from. So that's a win-win for you. You stay off the mini map, and you do, the, the enemy doesn't even know where you're shooting from. All right. So suppressor is a really big one. Now quick draw so you can aim in faster when your gun fights. When you're about to get into a gunfight, you can win and get the first shot off on the enemy. Get your uh, get your aim down sights way quicker. Then we're gonna have the extended mags as a third perk. Not perk. I'm sorry. As the attachment and the extended mags. Put some more uh, bullets in your magazine so you can win, like, say if there's like three people around the corner. You want to be able to take them all out in one clip, maybe four. You know what I'm saying? You want to be able to take them out all out, and you want to take all of them out in one clip. That's why I always run instead of mags, because I'm always running to like three, four people, probably more than that, all right? I always keep extended mags on almost all my classes, unless it's like an LMG, I probably won't put that on. But, um, now for our secondary weapon, we got the we got the Hornet. Now, for the secondary weapon, you can use almost any pistol that you want. I promise you, you can. It doesn't really matter. If you want to use the EMC, go ahead and use the EMC. You want to use the Hailstorm, go ahead and use the Hailstorm. Use your favorite pistol. I like the Hornet uh, for me. And I like the Hornet and the Kindle. The Kindle is basically the Hornet, but the Hornet is just fully auto. I don't know why they did that. They should have just made the Kindle something else. I don't know. But, yeah, I use the Hornet. That's what I use. Now, like I said, you can use any secondary weapon you want. It does not matter. Now, for the perk 1, we're going to use Ghost, perk 2, Scavenger, perk 3, Dead Silence. Now, Ghost and Dead Silence is a huge, huge, huge factor in getting nukes, bro. Ghost, stay off the minimap because UAV, the UAVs are so easy to get in Call of Duty. Anybody can UAV, get a UAV, bro. Even if you just got the game, you can get a UAV. I promise you, you can. Even if you get it, like, well, you got to get a freaking, um... UAV before you get even get a care package. I'm pretty sure I think it's more points to get a care package than UAV But like I said UAV is very common. So ghost is a definite must bro a definite definite must now uh, for perk 2 scavenger um I've heard that a lot of people don't use scavengers some people do some people don't I do but um There's other ways you can uh, stay good on ammo. You can use the Merc that's the combat rig, the Merc combat rig, or you can use the Synaptic, that's the robot, and then use Rewind. Rewind is a really good uh, uh, combat <laughs> payload, whatever you want to call it, I don't know what to call it. Uh, it's a really good payload, if you rewind, you get all your ammo, I think like full ammo on your gun, I, I'm pretty sure. And the uh, the Merc, if you use the Merc, and it's a, it's a trait, it's a trait where you get all the ammo in the gun at the start of the round, you don't have to pick up anything. But um, I like to run with scavenger, so I can pick up scavenger scavenger pack every time I kill somebody. It's it's useful for, to me, you know what I'm saying? But um, for perk three, dead silence, yo, dead silence. Like you don't want to hear nobody hearing your footsteps, knowing where you're gonna come from, knowing that you're behind them jumping and stuff. All right, even if you're not on the radar, they can still hear you, bro. All right, so make sure dead silence is definitely on there. I'm telling you, dead silence will save your life so so many times. All right. So that's it for the first class. On to the second class, bro. The second class is basically the MV4 again. Just a little bit of tweaks. Just a little bit. It's probably like one tweak. That's it. If you guys don't want to use the ELO site on your MV4 or any site at all, you can take the site off and you can take off the suppressor. If you don't want to use the suppressor, just replace the suppressor with a rifled barrel. That, that gives it like more damage on the MV4 basically. More range, more damage. Hey, I like it. It's cool. But um... Yeah, everything is the same basically, except for one perk. Uh, we have dead silence and we have hardwired. 
Hardwired is a very good perk because, like I said, it's really easy to get a UAV and it's really easy to get a counter UAV. So if, if the enemy team calling in counter UAVs and like you're stuck and you don't know where to go, you don't know where anybody's at, the Hardwired is there to help you. Hardwired, you can still see your mini map even if they call in a counter UAV, bro. A counter UAV will, counter UAVs will definitely throw your uh, game off. I'm telling you that right now. It will throw your game off. It will. If you're on that streak, you don't know where people are coming from. You don't know where your teammates at. It's, it's trust me, it's a struggle, bro. It's a very, very, very bad struggle. So hardwire is a definite perk to counter that, bro. I'm telling you right now. Oh, just, just use it. Use it if you're going against people that's using a whole bunch of counter UAVs, UAVs. Just use it. I'm telling you. All right. Now that's it for the second class. Now for the third class. This time we got the K bar. Now the K bar is probably the second most popular gun to get a nuclear, in my opinion. That's my, that's my opinion. Now K bar. MV4 and K-Bar are the best two guns. The best two guns to drop a nuke with. And the K-Bar, everybody knows the K-Bar. Pros use it. A lot of pros use it. It's the K-Bar is nice. Great. Wonderful. Alright. Now everybody should have the K-Bar nuke variant. There's one called the Bunker Buster and there's one called the Igloo Buster. Now the Igloo Buster was given to you for free. Um uh during the 12 days of Christmas or something like that. Something that Infinite Warfare had. And they gave it to you for free at like they had different prizes every day so everybody should have the igloo buster so they should have a nuke variant uh k-bar uh variant so anyway let's go ahead and get into the class setup man elo sight grip extended max long barrel now elo sight uh you don't have to use the elo sight on the k-bar because basically if you're using the k-bar and you're using the iron sights in my opinion it low key it high key looks just like an elo sight just a little smaller that's all it is just a little smaller but I some most of the time I like to use a uh, Elo sight anyway. So Elo sight and the grip foregrip. This gun does have a good bit of kick to it. So if you guys don't want to like you know handle all that recoil, foregrip does help you out a lot. I'm telling you, it helps you out really good in the long run. Now extended mags, long barrel. You guys know my reason for that. Extended mags because it's like you will have more ammo in your magazine if you're going against three more people around the corner. Some more ammo in your magazine. Everything is all good and gravy. Long barrel, so you can have that range, more firepower on the uh, K bar. The K bar, like I said, the K bar is powerful. I believe the K bar is more powerful than the MV4. So if you use the K bar more than the MV4, hey, props to you. Cause the K bar, I pretty much think the K bar is better than the MV4 in my opinion. Now, as for the second uh, weapon, secondary weapon, like I said, use a pistol. You don't have to use a pistol. You can use a tactical lethal or something, but I like to run with pistols. That's me. So Hornet, EMC, Hailstorm, whatever, Kindle 44, go crazy. Go crazy. That's your class setup. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever you have to do with that part. And the perks are always the same. I use these perks on almost every single class that I have. Even if it's not a freaking nuke class, I use it anyway. It doesn't matter, bro. Ghost, Scavenger, Dead Silence. Ghost, stay off the minimap. Scavenger, more ammo. And perk 3, Dead Silence. Just stay silent, bro. Just stay silent. You don't want the, you don't want them to know where you're going to hit them from. You can hit them from the left. Boom. You can hit them from the right. Boom. You can hit it from the top, boom. You can hit it from the bottom, boom. You know what I'm saying? You don't want, you don't want them to know where you hitting them from, you know? Now, now all that, those are my top three class setups. Now, another big thing are are the score streaks. Now, if you're running the first class with, um, I'm pretty sure the first class was the silence class, oppressor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. Now, the first class, if you're running that class, in my opinion, you should use UAV, maybe a vulture, in advanced UAV. You don't have, you don't always have to use a UAV counter in advance. I think it depends on your class setup. If you got a silenced weapon, right, and you got a ghost, I'm, I'm pretty sure you don't need a uh, counter UAV. Cause they, they, you, they, they, you're already like completely off the map. You don't need counter UAV. You're already completely off the map. Completely. If you have suppressor and ghost, you're completely off the map. So you could probably run a lethal, maybe a vulture to watch your back, and maybe a warden. All right. So, but if you don't have a suppressor on your gun, then you're probably gonna run a run counter UAV. So whenever you're shooting, you're still off the map. You know what I'm saying? So UAV, counter UAV, advanced UAV, UAV, vulture, uh, warden, UAV, uh, advanced UAV, anything like that will go fine with that class. Now, though, that was uh, my uh, class setups to drop nuclears in this game like i said it's not it's not hard at all to drop nuclears in this game hopefully you guys did enjoy the video best combat rigs like i said merc and synaptic uh merc you can use the what's it called the um the kinetic armor the reactive armor that's what it's called reactive armor 
and synaptic you use the rewind to get more ammo and stuff it didn't it does get you out of a lot of sticky situations there's also another one it's the ftl and it's called phase shift phase shift gets you out so many situations bro so many situations bro so many i can't i can't even count it but um yeah that is my top three class setup to drop nukes uh then i get through with some tips for you guys hopefully you guys do take these class setups and run with them hopefully it gets you your first nuke Makes you get a nuke faster, get like your fastest nuke maybe. Uh, hopefully you get more nukes in one day. You know what I'm saying? Just anything. If it did, drop a like, man. Let's try to shoot for 10 likes on this video. I know I always ask for 10 likes, but I'm not a big YouTuber, so hey, 10 likes on this video, bro, and I promise you, you will not fail to drop a nuke. All right. But anyway, drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Stay blessed, stay great. It's your boy Ready Great, and I will see you guys in the next video, bro. Stay. This is a tricky